Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Adam from K6ARK Portable Radio, and I've been working on a project here. As you may know, the True SDX manufacturer in China just recently came out with some boards, RF boards, for the high bands and the classic bands, which is awesome. It means you don't have to homebrew those yourself now. So, I'm sure some of you are going to want to buy a second board for, or maybe even a third for your true SDX so you can operate on those alternative bands. What you have to do normally is disassemble the case, remove the RF board, install the new RF board, reassemble the case, and then change the setting in the menu. But if you want to save that time, I came up with a new way to do that. So I took the original case design and made it modular. So now the top will pop off and you'll have the motherboard, the main unit, in this upper case with some little kind of rounded hooks here that go into some rounded hooks on the bottom case and some little sort of uh, almost like a little bump snap there. And then on the bottom half of the case, same type of thing. You've got the, the receiving end of those little hooks and then the little snap on this side. And this is about my third iteration. It seems to work fairly well. You can uh, use 12 or 15 millimeter screws. Uh, 15 is probably better for the bottom case. And then uh, you could probably get away with 15 millimeter screws on the top case as well, but 12 millimeter works just fine. So the way it assembles, you uh, connect the hook side first, which is the, uh, the SMA connector side. You make sure those hooks are fully seated. You align everything in here, and you press it into place. To remove it, I put a, a little bit of a mark on the design here, an arrow, to remind you which side, uh, which end of the case extracts first, and you simply push a little bit in that direction, squeeze, and pull it out, and it releases. So there you have it, your modular True SDX case. Hopefully this will help some of you out who want to operate with some of those alternative bands. I will include links to the STL files for these below in case you'd like to print your own version out. Thanks again, everybody, for watching, and many thanks to Manuel, DL2MAN, and Guido, PE1NN, for supporting this project and doing all the work that they have done on this at no cost to you and at no benefit to them from a financial perspective. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate what you do. 7-3.